China has announced plans to build a base, along with Russia, on the moon, rivaling NASA's Artemis mission, and a recent discovery of water on the lunar surface by the Chinese has NASA and the ESA scrambling. China's lunar exploration program has taken a giant leap forward with the discovery of water trapped inside glass spheres on the moon, brought back by China's Chang-5 mission. The discovery is groundbreaking because water is a precious resource in space, and finding it on the moon is a significant step forward for crewed missions, which require the resource to sustain human life. In addition, the water discovery has strengthened the plans for China and Russia to build a long-term manned base on the moon. The moon has long been a potential location for future human exploration and settlement. The ability to establish a permanent human presence on the moon would represent a significant milestone for humanity, opening up new opportunities for scientific research, resource utilization, and space commerce. However, several technical and logistical challenges must be overcome before this can happen. One of the most important of these is the issue of water. Human missions to the moon must have advanced technologies and systems to sustain human life in the harsh lunar environment including radiation shielding, temperature control, and life support systems. However, finding a reliable and sufficient water source on the moon has been a significant challenge for scientists and engineers planning long-duration manned missions to the lunar surface. The discovery of water trapped inside glass spherules has confirmed what many scientists have long suspected. The moon is a treasure trove of resources, and these resources could pave the way for future space exploration, particularly manned missions. The glass spherules are also known as impact glasses or microtectites, forming when meteorites smash into the moon, creating chunks of lunar crust blasted above the moon's surface. Silicate minerals are then heated to molten temperatures by the impact force and combine to form tiny glass beads sprinkled over the surrounding landscape like crumbs. The water discovery was made possible by analyzing soil samples collected by China's Chang-5 mission, which returned to Earth in December 2020. According to a recent study published in Nature Geoscience, the microtectites collected by the mission could contain billions of tons of water across the moon's surface, making it a potential future water source for moon bases. The discovery of water on the moon has long been a goal for space exploration, particularly for NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon by 2024. China is partnering with Russia to launch a lunar exploration program rivaling NASA's Artemis mission. The program includes robotic landers, orbiters, and crewed missions to create an outpost around the moon's southern polar region, called the International Lunar Research Station. While details are still scant, periodic updates have provided a big picture idea of what this lunar outpost will look like. Zhou Yang Lao, the head of the Lunar and Deep Space Exploration Division of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, has indicated that China plans to establish a basic model for a lunar research station based on the two planned exploration missions by 2028, which will subsequently expand into an international base. The Lunar Research Station will have significant implications for scientific research, including moon-based astronomy, Earth observation, and lunar resource utilization. The discovery of water on the moon is expected to lead to further research, with scientists exploring the potential for operations involving lunar minerals and solar energy. This research will also have implications for long-duration stays on the moon and even lunar settlement. Outposts on the moon's far side also present opportunities for astronomy, especially radio astronomy. Radio telescopes on the moon will be unencumbered by interference on Earth, while optical telescopes won't have to contend with light pollution or atmospheric distortion. The potential for mining and extracting resources from the moon could also have significant economic benefits. It could provide a source of rare earth elements and other valuable minerals that are becoming increasingly scarce on Earth. Additionally, it could serve as a stepping stone for future exploration and colonization of other celestial bodies in the solar system. However, there are concerns about the potential environmental impact of lunar resource extraction and the need to establish regulations to ensure that any exploitation is done sustainably and responsibly. The discovery of water on the moon has opened up new possibilities for creating sustainable lunar settlements. Water is a critical resource for human survival and can be used for drinking, hygiene, growing crops, and producing rocket fuel. Currently, the only known water sources on the moon are ice deposits in the polar regions, which are challenging to access and extract. However, microtectites may offer a more accessible and abundant source of water that can be harvested and processed for human use. The Chinese scientists who discovered the microtectites believe they contain significant amounts of water, which can be extracted through heating or chemical processes. 
The study estimates that the spherules could hold up to 0.1% water by weight, which may not seem like much, but adds up to a considerable amount when considering the vast quantities of spherules on the moon. The researchers suggest that the spherules could be mined and processed using robotic missions to extract the water and other valuable resources, such as oxygen. In conclusion, the discovery of water on the moon is a significant development that could have far-reaching implications for human exploration and settlement in space. The microtectites may contain billions of tons of water that could be used to sustain human life and support space exploration activities. The discovery has encouraged both NASA's and China's plans for building a long-term manned base on the moon, which could lead to new scientific discoveries and technological advancements, as well as commercial opportunities. However, many challenges and uncertainties still need to be addressed before the full potential of the microtectites can be realized. Future research and exploration missions will be essential to unlocking the secrets of the moon and realizing the dream of sustainable human presence in space. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave us a like and subscribe for more exciting news, remarkable discoveries about our home in the solar system and the universe beyond.